I come from Generation X. I come from an era of Green Day, 311, rotary phones, answering machines, the non-touchscreen iPod, <laughs> and the days where you actually had to remember your friend's phone numbers, and we played outside without helmets. <laughs> but I am also from a generation that got screwed. Yep, we got screwed. When the technology boom hit and started the exponential growth that we know today, we were in the late stages of middle school or freshman in high school. You see, it wasn't cool to be a geek, <coughs> to know about Linux or Commodore 64s or my nemesis, the Apple, <laughs> or in that day, Macintosh. The schools didn't have the programs or even the manuals to teach the technology, let alone keep up with its growth. And frankly, we didn't care. We were worried about Friday night football, hot cheerleaders, and when the next band was coming into Slogos or the Night Owl. And if you know those clubs here in Pensacola, you too belong to this group. We didn't have companies banging down our doors to encourage us to learn IT infrastructure or technical engineering. Heck, those terms weren't even around. We, our extent of the world was represented by thick rimmed glasses, khaki slacks that were too short, white socks, topsiders, and a straight A report card. We didn't have Navy Federal forming the community with every possible IT job ever made in the IT world. <laughs> they weren't the cool kids. They sat in the back of the lunchroom. Little did we know, world domination was what was being planned. Be aware, Generation X. We're coming for all your high paying jobs your cool cars, and all your hot chicks. But we won't stop there. We're going to make it so that you can't function in everyday life without geeks like us. You see, I wasn't always in, the world, in this world. I was a chef, but also a guy whose extent of IT was Super Mario Brothers on Nintendo. From day one of college, my lack of IT knowledge and technology capability soon caught up with me. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, were actual classes my freshman year. So the programs I had to use to produce all of my college career content were just being taught to me in the first 60 days. Then came the workforce and the career. Now you may not think of a chef's world being that intertwined with tech, right? Wrong. From POS to ordering to scheduling to seating to measuring to bar management, inventory management, yeah, my world just got really confusing. Now luckily, I wasn't one of those kids in school who was a jerk. At least I don't think I was. Some may have other opinions. But I know I was never mean to the geeks. My parents taught me always be kind to other people and always, always pay attention to the underdogs. So after a couple phone calls to some old schoolmates, I found myself teaching geeks how to slam a beer, pick up chicks, and pick out really cool music. And dress just a little bit better. What they taught me, I can never repay. So let this Ignite Talk be my token of appreciation, my paying of homage, if you will. You see, guys like me need geeks like you. We need you, the world needs you, and together we can build great things. Now, today, I'm an entrepreneur, and I have serial <laughs> entrepreneurial ADD. I am now part owner and operator of several companies, all in the tech world. Business Radio X Studios here in Pensacola, which is on-demand streaming radio, Leadgrass, which is our artificially intelligent digital marketing, and I, along with my good friends Calvin and Joel, are what we call Catalyst Group, an experiential firm encompassing audio, visual, digital, and live events to create the ignition for your brand. You see, I dreamed it, but you helped me build it. And as goes Pensacola, so goes the world. See, guys like me, Meet geeks like you. Together we can dream and build the future, and from where I stand, it looks freaking awesome. In the words of Steve Perry, don't stop believing. Cue the mic drop. <laughs> <laughs>